feels like you... the big gun is bigger, but that might it, just it be is. because I'm closer to it. The big gun is bigger, yeah. Eventually, the Colonial Union worked out why colonies always had supplies go missing after the Interponk visited, and cashiered us out of the service. Mike found us a new ship through some Silvassi friends, but only if he could be captain. It was worth it to keep the crew together, so I agreed to pilot, which put Smith on weapons. RCX and Ed swapped roles, making RCX the science officer and Ed the engineer, but I could see they were itching to keep doing each other's jobs. So, here we are looking for work, and a less reputable kind of work than we were doing for the CU. Give me a sec to explore the ship. Yeah. In... I, I found this room in here that seems to have nothing in it, which is interesting. Oh, now that's interesting. Maybe it's got the cloaking that... device and it's cloaked. See... Yeah, we start at the pirate base. Oh, you see, okay. this pirate station is down here. That's uh, it. We may, may be a good idea for us to go down to the pirate station first, and there may be missions down there. So, I think we should probably do that. I'm already on the planet. I haven't found any missions yet. Okay. There are... Oh yeah, here's the... Uh, do we happen to do smuggling work? Uh, yeah, I mean, we could do, yes. Yes, we, we can could. do it, smuggling work. <laughs> sure, we, uh, we... We have we have a cloaking device, if we can work uh -huh. out how to use it. <laughs> okay. We can move some cargo. Okay. Oh, we do. Hidden cargo yes, so I'm so. willing to try that. Right. Oh, move live cargo, interesting. <laughs> okay, it needs well, to go to right. Finley and Brian at Outpost 448. Don't think about feeding it anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gremlins. gremlins. We're actually transporting gremlins. Uh, so. uh, there's a guy called Roy here uh, who wants a favor. Uh, okay, what favor does he want? It, uh, it hasn't said yet. Oh, okay, we well, did that mission him. in the last ship. Uh -huh. Oh, what um, was that one? It was the one where we had to get some kiln seeds from a different part of the ship, but it uh, turned okay. out that the guy on the other side of the ship didn't have them, so we had to go to a planet to get them. Shall I do, like, shall I accept this one then? Uh, yeah, go ahead, I think. How much money is it? I was shocked by an unknown yeah. thing. 5,000 credits. Yeah, well, that's I useful. That would the... double our money. Um, uh, did, someone, did anyone go and do the second part of that mission, by the way, that we took? No, I can't find the, uh... We should do that. Uh, I... Hang on. Are you sure we don't have a scanner? Because I thought we started with a scanner. I do like, have a right. scanner, but, like, <laughs> there are many, many, like, dots. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's not very useful for navigating. That's okay. yeah, true. Oh, well, Arnie. Engineering question for RCX. What does the mm -hmm. manual program charge the station? Uh, so, actually, I might call out for that. So, that's basically for, um... Yeah. It lets you, should, you, you should stop randomly shooting things. Um, do programs <laughs> like your hypocrisy is jaw dropping. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I wasn't randomly shooting things most of the time. <laughs> has, anyone, has anyone worked out how to do the cloak yet? By the way, for, for the record, we should go down before we do anything else and finish that other kill scene mission, so we actually have the mission. Yeah, like, we need to do the first part of that mission. I can't than, figure out like where that is. Well, I mean, I think we just all go down and look until we find him. Uh. <laughs> The last person I've just accidentally RCX. turned on my personal cloaking, but I don't know how I did it. <laughs> Q. No, R. Yeah. No, no, not R. Here, Q. No indeed, Q. indeed. Um, <laughs> yes, okay. Oh, have you turned the teleporter off, Ed? It is indeed uh, how you self destruct the ship. You can also well, eject. I mean, what? Um, uh, yeah, if if you um, uh, like if you do get the core past the point of no return, you can eject it. And unlike in Star Trek, the ejection systems will always work. So it sounds to me like core safety toggle needs to be off by default. <laughs> uh, no, no, it is on by default. Who are you and what have you done with Mike? Well, uh, the yeah, guy you see, now the out. boots on the other foot is, is completely <laughs> changed his tune, hasn't he? Anyway, can, can right. people come, please come down and search the planet so we can find this guy so we can actually go somewhere? <laughs> you don't mean the planet, do you? You mean the station? I mean the station, yes. Um, okay, I guess I can now. I've worked out how to pilot the ship. Uh, not the repair the depot, though. Indeed, yes, don't go there. So we are. I don't think we are yet equipped to go to the repair depot and start shooting people. Ah, <laughs> oh, here is a guy with an exclamation mark over his head. Okay, we'll talk to him. Oh, man, if I you want to so make some fast time. credits, I may have a job for you. You see, I have blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, the Thanks for Is he at the top of the flight of stairs just through a door? He's called Kirod Enish. Uh, what is he offering? Um, 
I know of a raider captain who stashes his pilfered goods as an old planet view base. There's a certain item I want from that stash. If you go to the planet and bring it back, I'll pay you 9,000 credits, plus you oh. can keep it over Oh, is that the one? Is that the one we did before? Yeah, last it's time, the one with the hologram. in the ad for the hologram where we couldn't find it because the, the engineer needed a special thing to actually find the, holo the hidden bit, and we didn't have it. There's a sign saying, do not go into this room, so I went in and something insta killed me. Oh. And the game said, killed by blank. I see. Where I think it was some kind of security thing. Uh, if it? you go up the spine... Oh, up I think the that's line. the weapons thing. Yes, yeah, so if you go to the weapons thing and then you go a bit further to the sign, to the door that's got like, do not go through this door painted on it in blood. Um, yeah, I, you get shot at. I went through the door and it was like, okay, now you are dead. Ooh, are we that. looking for a specific guy? Yeah, uh, of course. Yes. And for silver. I mean, generally anyone with an exclamation mark is probably yeah. not bad, but um, there I is mean, some of them are bad, but they'll give us missions anyway. But indeed, like, yes. we want the bad people <laughs> to give us missions, it's kind of... Yeah. Well, not if, I don't think everyone here is bad, necessarily. I think they're... Um, everybody, they're here, yeah, everybody here is good. They're, they're fully paid up members of the Alliance and Gentlemen. Indeed. I, 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 get the, I get the feeling that the Alliance of Gentlemen varies from people who are basically anarchists to people who are <laughs> just like pirates. And who just has shoot people the hell of it. Apparently the weapons alone here are bigger than a standard starship. Ah, okay. Whoa. Oh, yeah. One, yeah. That mission. Okay. I mean, if I had a penny for every time I'd heard that, I'd have no money. Oh, his mission or have you done that already, Dan? I have taken his mission. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so I think we, we, the first place we should go is out, is the, um, outpost 446, because we have two missions there, so. Isn't that CU? Uh, yes. I think so. They don't hate us yet. Yeah, they don't hate us. Um, <laughs> yeah. We, we, also well. hate we, also have a, we also have a cloaking device, and we have contraband on board, so it may be a good idea to use it. <laughs> okay. Oh, we started with contraband? Well, no, we, we picked one of the missions involves Conqueror. Are oh, we yes, taking the contraband yeah, um, to Outpost 4 for it? Yes. And, and yet, Mike, you picked the ship without the smuggling cargo hold. Well, yeah, but we do have a cloak. Yeah, right, the whole so. ship is a smuggling cargo hold, what are you saying? Okay. Is everyone aboard the ship? Yes. If, um, Is everyone feel comfortable in attempting to fly the ship? Um, if, uh, if I'm comfortable. Or, or rather, I mean, everyone not comfortable everyone. in doing their jobs, indeed. Everyone comfortable indeed. in their job. I don't um, know if yep. I actually have the talent to fly the ship. Because I think isn't that a talent? Indeed. We have full yes. confidence in you, Mike. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's go and kill uh, someone. Uh, no, does anyone not. wish... Uh, can, can we engage, engage the cloak, please? Because... We have contraband on board, so we'd rather not get seen by anything. Ah, okay. That I, means I, I should come off the gun turret in case I accidentally shoot something and break the cloak. Uh, I mean, yeah, you shouldn't need to do that, but yes. <laughs> yeah, turn the cloak on before we jump, please. It will be interesting to see whether jumping leaves the cloak up. Yes, it would. Um, <laughs> but uh, we need to try this at the moment. Yeah. Our responsibility is the cloak. Um, I guess engineering or science would do it it's in the middle it's in the it's in the middle thing which is where i think ed is so oh no sorry uh no it needs it needs to be done from the center piece actually i mean i mean actually any of us can do it i can go and do it all right you do it this time yeah you do it yeah i just did it is it on no you primed it you didn't start it there's two you have to do both so you first you do the left you do um the left one first to prime it yeah. And then you do the right one to start it. Oh, the oh I think that's oh, great. There we go. Okay, cloak is active. It's not and... Okay. Oh, it looks pretty from the outside as well, which is kind of ironic. Let's see if we survive the jump. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, jump. Uh, we no longer appear cloaked in hyperspace. Indeed. Uh, the blue I think I can still, still hear the cloaky noise. Oh, yeah. yeah. Interesting. The blue lights are still on. Tell us about the mission, Mike. Uh, there is a sector with your warp range that contains the planetary supply station called the Harbour. This station is famous for its anti-alliance policies and has been behind the incarceration of several gentlemen crews for the past decade. Unfortunately, there is little we can do without bringing the full force of the Colonial Union down upon us. However, we can camp with the Harbour's perimeter with minimal risk. If you are interested in this task, reply to this transmission. Eh, let's have a go at it, I think. Oh, you are the captain if you're interested then. Yeah, what do you guys reckon? Yeah, go with it. <laughs> that is the kind of consultation I have come to expect. 
Well, I mean, I asked. I, nobody's objected. Okay. <laughs> that is Teleport technically is correct. Teleport the planet where the harbour is located. Then sabotage, sabotage the sensor sa stations by removing their power cells. I sent you the coordinates if you didn't, did not have them already. Good luck and thank you for your assistance. Sent okay. as stealing things from stations sounds like something we have great expertise at. Indeed. <laughs> oh, not hard. We are cloaked. And we are still cloaked, good. Sweet. Okay, so we should consider... At, okay, so this harbour, how far away is it? One... I don't know, are we I'm lined up on one five nine and er Yeah, um, wait before we jump. Um, I think we may need to go to the harbour first. Um, I, otherwise, we might struggle to get everywhere in time. So, go for 75. Lining up. And we should remain cloaked because we are still um, carrying contraband. So, give you a warning if our power consumption appears to be close to the level. Oh, okay. Lined up, step jump. five. Okay, jump. <laughs> oh, fuck, what was that? Don't look at me. I didn't uh, know that. That's not character infection. Fuck. Um, that's bad. Ha um, have we actually got anything bad on board? Yes, yes, we have. <laughs> Uh, okay. Let's see if we can just run away. Um, or at least I... cloak and run away. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can, but... Oh, shit. I kind of assumed right. that being cloaked would stop them from doing that, but apparently not. Uh, okay. So... Okay, so what are we going to do about this? Do something, Captain. I don't want to go to prison. Uh, well, okay, so... The options are ignore them, which is a problem because we need to go to their base. Um, go in and get caught, or dump the cargo and fail the mission. <laughs> dump the cargo and then come back? Uh, no, we cannot. Okay, so we just get flagged and we can unflag ourselves. Yeah, we can after. pay, we can pay for Yes. Ourselves. This mission's getting quite expensive. Indeed. It's nearly feeling worse all the time. Okay, I think we just have to ignore it. I think we have no other option. Don't forget to spend your talents. Oh, we have another mission. Oh, bounty hunters. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Tell us more about it. Uh, it's, it's, the same, it's, 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 it's the bounty hunting thing. We can, no, it's just it's just the thing asking, do we want to be a bounty hunter? Not which bounty hunter do we want to be? Not do we want to hunt this particular ship? Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, we're going. So, it's Grey Huntsman contract. Job succession with the Grey Huntsman are time sensitive and must be completed for a limited period, or they will be reassigned to a more capable crew. <laughs> in order to the oh, I don't know where they'll find one. Rewards stated in the bounty. The targeted ships must be cap destroyed, not captured, as many possess established reputation. Do you agree to these terms? I accept. Do you want to drop us out to water? Uh, yes, drop us out. Yes, let's drop us out. I think if everyone's ready. I'm ready? Uh, have you been saying something, yeah. David? Oh, just fine. No, okay. Yes, I'm ready. All I was going to say was, aren't these missions number of jumps sensitive rather than They are. Yeah, they are number of jumps. Are you a ship on scope? Jumps. Yes. Uh, we are, we are um, currently cloaked, so I suggest we just ignore them, probably. Okay, we could, okay, actually, we could the actually, no, they don't hate us yet, so we could um, hail them if we drop I've got the gun pointing at them, but I'm not going to fire it. Um, how do I hail what them? I? You ask the scientist, scientist to do it for you. Okay. Dialogue. Extort 3,000 credits, extort 10 fuel. <laughs> uh. Or dialogue. Uh, I'm guessing trying to extort them is a bad idea. Actually, how... Uh, what is their combat ability relative to ours, actually? Mike, we've only just started the game! Indeed! I know! Um, I don't know at the moment. I'd have, probably have to do, do you an think active I should, Do you think I should walk okay. us out? No, you don't have to do an active scan. Oh, you can't see them? No. Oh, because they're, they're out okay. of our range now. Uh, okay, um, I think just jump. I think, yeah, let's just jump to the next station, yeah? Okay. We are off to a good start. Indeed. Reps, zero, zero, minus three, zero, I imagine? Uh, we have no, we have five, five for the AOG. Oh, okay. it's fine. It's fine. No one ever lost on reputation. <laughs> Excellent work. Yeah. 
No, we managed, to be fair, we managed to go to the AOG space last time when we had like minus 10 rep with them, so. Okay, I okay. will drop a tank. We went to their base, but I think they started hitting us later. No, no, they hated us already. We started shooting no. very early on. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to drop out. Pirates. Indeed, I'm going to drop out. Let's say one of the injections. Uh, uh, level has increased. Bandits we firing on us. We smoke has gone down. Ah, shit. Uh, okay, uh, uh, fire back, fire back. Wait, choose what? a target. Uh, okay. Uh, go for Charlie. Don't hold back at all because like there's two of them and one of us. So yeah, the cloak doesn't seem to be very cloaky, which is interesting. Like I, I was expecting that the cloak would uh, do something. Do you want us to close in, uh, on no, Charlie? Uh, yes, close, um, close in, please. Um, don't get too close though because it just makes fire shooting them harder. David is now going to find out why I was complaining so much. <laughs> ah, I see why. I see why there is a cloak disable beacon in this system. That is why. Um, That's why the cloak disable. The cloak's gone, dude. I've had enough experience of this. Is um, is coolant something which we have to buy and stock up on? I believe yes, it is. Yes, pretty Because I had to use a little bit there to prevent it overheating. Fine. Our sh our, we seem we seem to be winning easy at the moment. The main turret doesn't work anymore. Uh, it overheats after a while. Uh, hang on, is it just I think it is, completely? I think uh, it is continuing to overheat. The uh, weapons were being set on really low power. Then. Uh, well, can you put put them on more power then, please? <laughs> we kind of need weapons. They're quite important. <laughs> They're on full power. I I had just changed them. They were, they were on really low power, I'm higher. Yeah. Also, also, bear in mind that we have limited missiles and not, cannot arbitrarily refuel them, fill them, so don't use them unnecessarily. Okay. He said firing off a missile. Indeed. I mean, yes, I made this mistake early on as well. Um, like, it, I don't think we're in a position where we're doing badly here. Our shields seem to recharge as quick as they shoot them, so... We're in danger of coming back into range of Delta, though. Ah, yes. Well, um, please destroy Charlie as quickly as possible. Yeah, um, they're calling for reinforcements. Yeah, before they... Yeah, you should only take one more shot, though. And it's down. Okay. Charlie's down. Do you want me to Delta retarget Delta. Delta? Yes, retarget Delta. Okay. Yep. And closing to two clicks. Yeah, it is quite hard. <laughs> you have a captain who did this last time, so... You're not <laughs> supposed to be, like, being sympathetic with each other and, and appreciating the roles. You're supposed to say, Hello, like, wow, this is so easy, I don't know why you were having so much trouble with it. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, this, this does seem quite easy so far, I have <laughs> I mean, how are you fighting piloting? <laughs> pretty easy. Like, they have not yet been outside of our field of view. Indeed. Yes, I have noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> they also seem to be staying quite consistently at about uh, 2k, which is good. <laughs> Except for now. Well, yes, they go a bit fast pass now, on indeed. us. Uh, what is actually... Uh, yeah, what is the range of your... Um, things actually. Uh, the turret the is 8, 8k, the main turret is the turret. So the turrets actually have 8k range, so we can... Um, what, what is ideal range for you actually, would you say, David? Uh, further away is better because I don't have to track as far and as fast. Yes, that was what I was uh, thinking. Uh, I'm your going range on scrap. 8k. Okay. Um, Our science officer wasn't looking for the scrap. Uh, science guy, uh, science officer, look for scrap please. There we are. I've just hit the scrap. 
I'm assuming I can't do very much in this situation. Do you mean in your role as captain, or you just well, can't I do mean, very much? I mean, is there is there any? I mean, actually, yeah. What were you doing in general as captain? Nah. Um, like <laughs> calling, making sure everybody's on the same target. Yes. Uh, reminding the science officer to like do the job, do his job. Well, to be on top of like keeping an eye on yes. where the scrap is, that kind of thing. Uh, Indeed, and yes. then getting RCX off his phone. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't do you. That that will have to still be your job, I'm afraid. Keep an eye on where the scrap is. What? Yes. Um, was the thing that took me the longest to what's the word internalize? Yes. As a, as a... Uh, what are we shooting? Skill. I mean, I don't see anything. Uh, what are we shooting at? I'm just uh, shooting at things. Don't actually, worry. it might be a good idea to blow up that cloak disable beacon, beacon actually. Yeah, um, target alpha. Destroy it. Uh, I don't think I can. I think we need to be a little bit... Uh, yes, you need to get, um, move closer to alpha. Whoops. Yeah. I'm, I'm aware. Coolant, but I realize now that I did that far too early. Oh, got it. Yeah, it's not very strong. <laughs> oh, is it? There so, we go. Um, Goodbye. Uh, open the scrap. <laughs> that looks like yep, scrap. Uh, look for scrap, yep. And yes, cloak us, please. I'm already charging the cloak. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, I don't think. That uh, breaks the yeah. cloak. So, yeah, so, um, so, yeah, don't okay. cloak us until after we've finished looking for scrap in future, I think. Because <laughs> well, always always time. Oh, could you launch the probe? Yes, Indeed, yes, you launched the probe, and that decoded. Uh, okay, is everyone ready? Um, because this what? may, well, for anything that might happen. I don't, I hope, don't yes. think anything will happen, but... I mean, it depends uh, on the thing is that happens. Indeed. And there we are. Ready. I'm ready okay. for any piloting that so, may be required. Jim Stanhope, he's going to do an RCX job for him that we do have a civilian supply station on the planet, and it's got an average climate. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. So, um, everyone ready to head down to the planet? Um, we should, oh. if possible, we should stay in cloak, I think, just in case. Okay. Uh, is there a reason yeah, the light is on? Or is that just because we're in cloak? Yeah, they go all blue when we're cloaked. And if you want to know what the crew finds on the planet, join us next time. Thank you for watching.